In today's episode of the Ben Greenfield Fitness Podcast, when is it safe to exercise after being sick, vinegar for fat loss, mucus in your stool, how to fix your colon, why your stomach sticks out, can a yeast infection cause alcohol cravings, and building swim endurance. Welcome to the BenGreenfieldFitness.com podcast. We provide you with free exercise, nutrition, weight loss, triathlon, and wellness advice from the top fitness experts in the nation. So whether you're an Ironman triathlete or you're just trying to shed a few pounds, get ready for non-run-of-the-mill cutting-edge content from BenGreenfieldFitness.com. So, uh, Brock, I'm surprised you actually showed up for today's podcast. I would have expected you to be off watching uh, curling at the Winter Olympics. Because <laughs> curling is is so thrilling. I it's it is hard to tear myself away from from the feed. I have to admit, from the feed in Sochi, you know, curling. Uh, have you seen the curling calendars that came out on the internet? No, the no. the sexy curling calendars. They actually have <laughs> really. They, they have the women of curling and the men of curling. And oh, no. uh, they've, they've come out with these calendars to raise money. You know what? I don't know what they're raising money for. Curlers? Curlers Anonymous? Probably beer, know. knowing knowing curlers. <laughs> raising money for beer. So anyways, after seeing those calendars, I, I am personally uh, a little bit Never more interested going in curling. curling. Oh, you are? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Apparently, curling mm. can keep you uh, relatively fit. Uh, and so... Uh, you know, I you hate go. to say anything derogatory about my countrymen, but not in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it, I think it leads to beer consumption and copious donuts. Well, just be glad yeah. you're not, you're not in Sochi. I don't know if you've seen some of the, some of the feed that has come back from the Winter Olympics, but apparently it's not all that great of a place. Like there's like completely unfinished hotel rooms and like beds, like they have a pillow shortage, like they've run out of pillows. You know, I was in, I spent a lot of time in Russia in the early nineties in, uh, in Minsk. And that does not surprise me. I can't imagine things changed a whole heck of a lot since then. And none of the stuff that I'm seeing coming out of that, uh, out of the reports right now surprises me much. It, I mean, it's just not the, it's not the Russian way. They're yeah. not hung up on things like pillows and having extra blankets and, and actually even <laughs> like doors clean, on, clean, on toilets clean drinking and water. <laughs> yeah. Like the toilet, toilet bowl lids installed upside down. It's, it's well, and they nuts. probably just put those on for the Olympics. So they should count themselves lucky. There's a, a seat at all. Cause it's just not something that, that Russians really worry about. And in some ways I kind of hand it to them to not be so hung up on all this, like creature comfort kind of stuff that we place <laughs> so much, um, so much importance on yes it's very it's very putin-esque i was thinking about that like it's it's uh they're they're taking all of the other countries way outside their comfort zone which is kind of cool yeah in a way so if any of our listeners I think are they're showing what the, badasses uh, they are really that's right very very putin-esque if any of our listeners are over at the sochi olympics uh write us in or, or call the show and yeah send some let photos us, let us know how it is and, and for those of you who don't know how to ask questions for the show uh, just go to bengreenfieldfitness.com and there's like a little right sidebar thingamajig and you you click on that and uh, in, uh, the the magic of the internet opens up its arms to you and allows you to actually record using uh, using your own voice and the built-in microphone on your computer. So there I you have it. I don't think it's called a thingamajig. I think it might be a, a thingamadoodle. Mm. Yeah, technically speaking. News flashes. And this is the part of the show where Ben goes through all the latest, coolest, and most in-depth thingamadoodles that he's come across on the internets. That's right. And speaking of the Olympics, why don't we jump right in and talk about uh, cheating, doping, and steroid use? <laughs> I so, love it. <laughs> this was a, a, a very interesting study that was published. Uh, it was actually published in October, but kind of hit the presses earlier this week. And the, the title of the study was A Cellular Memory Mechanism Aids Overload Hypertrophy in Muscle Long After Episodic Exposure to Anabolic Steroids. So basically mm. showing the longevity of using steroids. It doesn't just end when you stop using it. Yeah, basically, in a, in a nutshell, in, in plain speak, uh, non-geek speak, what that study showed was that when you get exposed to performance... 